baked potato changed my life. Baked potato showed me the way. If you want to know what's wrong or right, you must listen to what potato say. Wash your hands and stay indoors. Thank you, baked potato. Only go to grocery stores. Thank you, baked potato. If you want to have a better day, you must listen to what potato say. How's it going folks? This is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and yes I know it's not my normal thing today uh, but I've had loads of requests for this song, uh, Matt Lucas on the Baked Potato song. Sort of a song of the moment, uh, it's, a, it's a right earworm as well this song, I sort of can't get it out of my head, it really gets under your skin. So it's a good fun one to play, I think it works really well on a ukulele. So I've done sort of a capoed up version on the guitar to make it sound a little bit more, a bit more like a ukulele, a bit more jingy jangly. Uh, so it's pretty easy to play, a great fun one, great fun one for kids as well, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, for this version, you're going to want the capo on the third fret, okay? And there's really two sections to this song. Um, there's the verse, which is basically just an A chord and a D chord, so A, D, Potato change my life. And the strumming pattern, I think you can get away with just doing it as a what I call a straight strummer. So down, down, so down, down, Or to give it a little bit more rhythm, so down, 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 so down, 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 down. Adds a little bit more rhythm to it, so down, down, up, down, up, down. Up. So just an A to a D. Don't stop there. A baked potato changed my life. A baked potato showed me the way. If you want to know what's wrong or right, just listen to what the potato say. Carries on the same. Okay, so the only other section of the song, um, we're going to want a B minor. If you want to have a better to a D, D. And then we go to an E7. So those who aren't familiar with an E7, just take a regular E chord, you're going to take your third finger off. That's the A to the D. So again, that chorus, so. If you want to have a better B minor to a D. Seven. Listen to what the things will say. And that carries on into the next uh, verse, just the A and the D, and we're going to finish off with that chorus again as well. So uh, I appreciate, you know, for beginners, obviously we've got a B minor bar chord there, which is quite difficult. So, so what we could actually do is sort of break that bar chord down and do, you know, so relative to the capo, my first finger will go on the 2nd fret relative to the capo on the top E string, 2nd finger will go on the 3rd fret, that will be on the B string, and the 3rd finger will go on the 4th fret, that will be on the G. So it's just a way of making it, you know, rather than doing the full bar chord, you know, if you're children or beginners, you know, you, you could do that and just sort of play, you know, the top 3 strings, so we're just getting those notes. Just an easier way to do the, you know, the the B minor, okay, then we, we go to the D, and then we got that E7. Make it nice to do that little ending as well, so a little lift off on the A chord, so. Okay, and that is pretty much all you're gonna need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching it. We all dug that, uh, and I know it's you know it's not the normal thing that I do, as as I said in the intro, but it's just a bit of fun, and I think through these times at the moment we all need a bit of fun. So uh, 
get your guitars out have a bit of fun with that one it's a great sort of family one so there we go if you've got any requests for the normal thing that I do you know 50s to modern day you know the drill now you can either comment in the post below or you could contact me on social media so I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook Twitter and now also Instagram which uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow on those platforms anyway but that way you can send me a personal message you know requesting a song I do get hundreds of requests and I do sort of have to hem pit them a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep them coming uh, thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who subscribed you know as always I really appreciate it you can click the little notification bell down there so every time I do post a video up you're gonna get notified and another way that you could help me out which I'd really appreciate if you spread the word you know word of mouth is a powerful thing so tell your friends tell your work colleagues you know family anyone you know plays a guitar who's recently started or might perhaps have been playing for a while and need a little bit of inspiration please point them in my direction I'd really appreciate that so uh, that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon take care